Hey guys, it is Kevin here in Japan and I wanted to answer a question that someone asked me today. Someone said, I put a picture of some vending machines on Instagram today. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, it's instagram.com slash jlandkev, jlandkev, um, of some vending machines. And uh, I was asked, what's happened to the adult beverage vending machines? There don't seem to be too many of them around like there used to be. So what that's referring to is alcohol vending machines. So in Japan, um, you know, you can buy alcohol from vending machines on the side of the road. But <clears throat> now I, I don't know all the details, but I, the only place I've ever seen um, alcohol vending machines that sell like beer and chew highs and, um, you know, sake and stuff are outside of liquor shops. So traditional Japanese liquor shops. And in Japan, in the past, and there are still some around, but not as many as there used to be. Um, uh, there would be liquor shops, bottle shops, where you would go to buy alcohol. And those would tend to have, um, those would have um, alcohol vending machines outside of them. So once the shop was closed in the evening, if people wanted to, to come and purchase something in the evening or in the early morning, they, they could do so. They could just go to the vending machine and buy some alcohol. Um, but, if you've been to Japan at any time recently, you will know that uh, convenience stores known as convenies are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. And at convenience stores, you can buy lots of alcohol. And convenience stores are, well, very convenient. And they're open uh, 24 hours a day. And they're all over the place. So the, uh, the convenience stores have, have seemed to have put the traditional Japanese liquor shop out of business. It's very rare to see them. Uh, and not very rare, but they're not so commonplace anymore. And the people who tend to own them are, are quite old, quite elderly. So they're probably people who, you know, 40, 50, 60 years ago started these shops up when the convenience stores weren't so prevalent. And it was a family business. <clears throat> and as once they retire, they just kind of shutter up the shop. So um, I've seen some shops around where it's kind of, it's, the shop is now closed, it's not being run anymore, but obviously the family that owns it, usually probably like an elderly couple, um, probably still live in the same building above the shop, and they have uh, a few liquor vending machines outside of their now shuttered shop, and they keep them stocked, and that's kind of, I, I suppose, just a source of some extra income, probably not a lot, but some extra income. Um, so yeah, so they're not so common, and as those uh, shops disappear, um, as people completely retire, pass on, whatever it may be, um, those liquor vending machines disappear. So they're just, I, I gotta admit, even like in the eight years I've been living in Japan, they're becoming less and less common to see. Um, so I suppose it's just a, a shift in, in Japanese culture, how, um, you know, things that were common once upon a time are not so common now. So there you go. That answers your question about why alcohol vending machines are not so common. And they're not, they're, they're kind of hard to find actually here in Japan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Check all the links below. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and check out my Birds of Kansai Facebook page and check out everything. Check out my podcast, the Just Japan podcast, everything you want to know about Japan and all that stuff. All the links are below.